Hey guys, what's up? Tough Thumbs here. Um, it's gonna be a little different video just because uh, my, my shop is so damn messy. Um, so you can see right here, I went straight into the bandsaw with my thumb and uh, basically cut it to the nail, just narrowly missing the bone. So, uh, cut my work day short, no pun intended. Um, but my thumbs are tough, so it's not bleeding right away like instantly pretty much after it squirted a little bit but uh... yeah just healing up it's a little bit sore now but you know whatever but first off these are for jeff in canada uh... first up i got as my gauze comes apart let me switch it in there. Um, this is an rc3 or a rat3 ontario and uh... see it's got sandblasted blade or bead blasted um, 1095 steel doesn't take bead blasting stuff uh, that well. This is only to get the coating off, so I'm going to stone wash it. But you see those marks, that's not just like dirt, that's rust. And this is just from sitting just exposed to air, pretty much. And like the little bit of moisture that's in the air, you know, causes that. So you can't have a bead blasted uh, blade there. Uh, 1095. And on here you see the sandblasted G10. Uh, sandblasting gives it more of a texture. That looks really nice uh, with the toxic liners. You see that, that regular Anzo pattern? I'm really digging this. This is my style right here. Like, if I was to uh, choose the steels for this from the factory, I would choose this. I just like that solid, nice color. Nothing crazy. There's a little bit of accents there in between the toxic. This thing is overall just uh, one of my favorite combos, the OD and Toxic. It's just beautiful. And, uh, that uh, sandblasting adds a little bit more texture to it. If you can see the little grooves, it looks like thumbprints almost. But uh, adds a lot of grip there, going this way. But uh, one of my favorite knives, for sure. And I'm working on doing this to my knife as well. And on to the masterpiece of the day. Sorry, it's going to be short just because uh, my thumb hurts. I'm doing this one-handed, basically. But right here, I got a Spyderco Zulu. This one's fucking sweet because it's got the uh, leopard wood. This is also for Jeff in Canada. You see that nice polished wood there. And uh, got the Anzo pattern and a yellow, yellow, yellow spacer material. I just like the yellow and wood combo. <laughs> but, uh, I may uh, do some quick edits on this. Uh, maybe bring some of the pattern down in the back there. It's a little thick, but I just want to show it to you guys. I got that organic look to the knife. Now it's even more organic. I think those two, these two are a little bit high. I'll bring those down a little bit. That's very nice looking. But you guys, pretty soon I'm going to be selling uh, finished knives, like uh, the knife with the pimp job on it, uh, on uh, Neptune Knives uh, website. Uh, I've been talking to him. He's a really cool dude. Um, he's got some very heavy opinions about knives, which I respect. Uh, but that's just his opinion, guys. You know, everybody's allowed their opinion. Uh, but, you know, I've heard some people have had their, uh, their I don't knows about this guy. But he's a stand-up dude. I mean, the stuff that he's done, uh, you know, in his life is uh, really, uh, I guess, honorable. Um, he's just a really nice dude and uh, really fun to talk to. Um, but yeah, his website's uh, got more higher end stuff on it. It's not for your average, your average everyday collector. I um, mean, he's got like custom Striders and uh, uh, Three Sisters Forge and Hinders and stuff like that. So it's a little bit higher end. He's got has some production stuff on there, but uh, you know, he makes sure the knives are in good condition when he sells them too. So 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a section on there so you'll be able to buy a paramilitary already done. You know what I mean? Like, so not just uh, you don't have to send in your stuff. And uh, but that's for later. That's not now. That's probably gonna be within the month or so, maybe. Um, and I'm gonna be selling my neck knives through them and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they'll be, they will be priced properly. Don't worry. They're not gonna be. You know, I try to keep everything affordable for everyone. So, cause. Uh, yeah, you know, just the way I roll. I do it by the work. I mean, if the work isn't that bad, I'm not gonna charge an arm and leg or something. You know, the titanium's not that bad. I mean, it's work, but you know, it's not unreasonable. You know, it's not much worse than G10. To tell you the truth, my card is worse than titanium. <laughs> The Zulu looks really sweet. And, uh, it sucks. I keep running into running into uh, detours. Like trying to get back to work here. Um, yeah, I tried working, but my finger just kept start kept uh, bleeding all over the place. So. But that is the Leopardwood Zulu and the OD Green Toxic Liners on the Rat, or RC4, 3, sorry. Feeling pimp as ever. And anyway, my guys, have a good one. And um, hopefully I'll be healed up and I'll do some more stuff tomorrow. I can do some minimal things, but I don't really want to work with carbon fiber and get stuff in there. So the bulk of my work is carbon fiber at the moment. But I did start on a few things before I messed my finger up. So everybody have a good one. And uh, peace.